lot of trash talk. He caught me making a name. I put on a jet. The coach was regretting me letting him stay in the game. See my route took a tumble. Next time be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. You just try not to fumble. Rumble, young man, rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I took off poof, magic. Now watch me shoot through the traffic. Footwork fantastic. Dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Here come the blitz, pass it. Got it on smash. Put in the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all. Dash. 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 Something we've only seen less than a handful of times since this franchise was born back in the 90s, and that's Jacksonville hosting in the playoffs as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field. Today, we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. to speak of. A gain up to the 26. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Delta. Everyone, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go, baby. Turn over. Let's get that ball. Let's get that ball. Go. Operating from the gun. Marsh. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time. He was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Ready. So trouble check, already check. here on their opening drive. This is Let's third go. and nine. Hey, Alpha. Snap. From the gun. Marsh got a man it's Ross complete and they work this well upfield across the 45 the end result 21 yards he's such a good route runner shows it there on third down very proficient and a good pass and you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL the better a route runner you are the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. Hey, box truck, box truck. Mike's 59, Mike's 59. On first and 10. Marsh, nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Bengals grab it. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And this is taken into the end zone of fumble. Cincinnati touchdown. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he's got it to make it 7 0 Bengals. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Big stop, Big stop, let's go. Mike, Mike, check, check. Operating from the gun, Marsh. And he slings one that's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try on second and ten. Go. Go. Yep. Go. 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 
five. Out of the pistol. It's Fournette. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Get it. Looking to throw. Marsh. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Carl Lawson. Four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we drop. It's about those Jimmys and Joes. <laughs> and when you have a punt returner, he's one of those Jimmys and Joes, one of the best athletes. He's unable to make the play that they were seeking, though. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Joe Mixon. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. On first down, Darnold. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On second and ten. Darnold. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 44-yard line. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. It's Mixon on the counter. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars' 18-yard line. The 
This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. They're able to convert with a gain of four. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. Blitz coming and down he goes. Josh Allen coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. And Darnold just beating the play clock. This is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. From 21 yards away. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you give the defensive touchdown early, you give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with them prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Going quickly here to Thomas. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. A four receiver set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. You better be ready. Don't be scared of it. Hey, hey, we're up. Second and six. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Watch the twist, watch the twist. Mike's part nine, Mike part nine. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming Go. after you. I'm coming after you. Hey, Wahoo. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 52. From the gun, Marsh. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. 
And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Here now, Johnny Townsend as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll return it from the six. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. On the run, it's Mixon. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Here goes that. Darnold will throw it on third and one. Taking a deep shot here for Hart. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Nico Hardman, 66 yards. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. They talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. now to kick this one away and off it goes fielded about a yard deep and he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27 Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Second and 10 now from the 27. Hey, watch the lane. Hey, Zoo. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Quit talking about it. And right now. To throw again. Marsh. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 
So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun, Marsh. Open man is Michael Thomas. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On the draw, this is Fournette. Nifty footwork at the 40. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Jaguars. Leonard Fournette, 53 yards. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They've done nothing the entire half, but out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a dunk in basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now it's Mixon running right. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Darnold from the gun. He's got his man, Boyd. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. And the Bengals first down. 53. 53. Mike, Mike. Hey, defense. On first down, it's Darnold. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So they go from 142-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. To throw is Darnold. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Kill, kill, kill. 
Now Mixon. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 33. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And the Bengals on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're up against a third and one situation. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now the Bengals will settle for three as the field goal unit comes on here. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that'll push the lead up to 17. These it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. One here? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. On first down, Marsh. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Mike is 59. From the gun, Marsh, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll toss it to Fournette. And he's got Rome. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Jaguars. Leonard Fournette with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jaguars get a score closer. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Watch right. Watch right. On first and ten, Darnold. And he's got his man on the out route. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. That's complete to the tight end sample. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Darnold now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. From the 50, it's Darnold. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Darnold to throw again. Flush to his right. This one hauled in by Sample. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Faking the give, Darnold. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. The Bengals bring out their punter now. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Go 
The Bengals drive about to get going. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy has some precision to him to pick up because of the timing of the route. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. 12 yards that time, and a Cincinnati first down. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner. And with good timing, you get a completion, as we just saw there. General West. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He gets this one to Boyd. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Darnold now, 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Throwing on second and three. Darnold. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. They were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop any. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. An eight-yard touchdown run. Now the Bengals, they widen their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They can't hang with us. Kill, 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 kill. Rock, 
Rocket, Rocket. Smith. Shoot. They'll run it again with four now. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Ready? Go. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Check three, check three. You draw Porkins. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Ready, ready. 18 Gator. Check right, check right. Hey, seam six. Seam six. To throw on second down. Marsh. Open man is lost complete. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42 yard line. Mike 20, Mike 20. You get blocked. Let's go. Operating from the gun. Marsh. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. That's good for another Jacksonville. First and 10. 90. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Second down and inches. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Stefan Tewitt, the former Notre Dame man, gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. From the gun, Marsh. And that is incomplete. It went with the dime look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Bengals drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel. But it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, 
the bar. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. On second and 12, Darnold. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he comes back with one complete. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. First down, Cincinnati. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. Darnold now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle, 55. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. The shotgun snap for Darnold. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Nicole Hardman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the set-up punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Here's a second and seven. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. His throw caught. At about the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. We're 
Gabriel Sack. 53 to Mike. Come on, Eddie. Kill, kill, kill. Any weapon. They'll give it to Mixon. Eddie, Mixon hit, and all oh, the ball is out. Look, we all know that sometimes we see upsets in the wild card round, but I have to tell you, in this case, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone in the stadium <laughs> saw it coming. You and I were coming in before the game. There was a couple in front of us talking about travel plans for next weekend. They might want to cancel those. Yeah, I would say so, because right now it's looking more and more like they're going to be one and done. They're probably trying to call the hotel, make sure they get their security deposit back. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Now, after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. They'll step aside. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any no. offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Sean, go! Again, it's Fournette. And some room to maneuver. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Leonard Fournette. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars make some inroads here on that deficit. The point after is good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. All of a bit of breathing room. This was a one-score game, but touchdowns on their last two drives, and now comfort is here, so to speak. <laughs> it certainly is for them. I've been in this situation before on the flip side of this. And all that's going on there is a little bit of finger pointing. Hey, what's going on? How can we stop them? Can someone make a play to try and stop this momentum? Well, they're going to be ball hawking because they need a turnover on that other side. Now Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Darnold on third down to the left he's got sample there and he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here too and he may get a few more tacked on for good measure maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten after the penalty, it's Mixon. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. We won! Now on 
second and 13. Darnold. He completes it to Boyd. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Now, Bengals on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. Darnold now to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Mike is 59. Mike is 50. Hill going back to the air on second down. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Check, check, 59, 59. Guys, game situation. To throw on third down. Marsh. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Fournette, a first down carry. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Looking to throw on second down. Marsh going deep downfield for Ross. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. On fourth down, Marsh. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Throwing on first down. Marsh, now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is going to be intercepted. William Jackson with a pick.
So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings